welcome to what will be my first show day video of this season. We are jumping into the BMBF Scottish qualifier coming up this Sunday. It's currently Thursday. We're just going in for our last session of the week before the show, our last proper session. Obviously we'll be doing pump up sessions before the show, but this is the last big one we're doing. Ch well, we're pretty much doing full upper body, chest, back and arms. I've done shoulders yesterday so they won't need as much, but I'll maybe chuck in like a side lateral raise just to keep the blood flow in this kind of whole top line, which is where I seem to flatten out the most. So we are not peaking. We are just cruising into this show. As Andy said, coach Andy said, pretty much going to slap tan on you and put you in because we think that I'm going to be good enough for the first show of the season. It's just to really blow the cobwebs off and get back onto the stage. And it's going to be really good. Scottish qualifier was my first show that I ever done as a teenager in 2018. So it'll be good to be back on that stage and seeing how much we've improved. It's always good lighting with the BMBF and it's always good photos from it. So looking forward to it. And I'm going to take you on this journey. I'm just going to be filming little bits throughout the week. Um, just to get me back into this kind of series and we'll be trying to film more all the way out. We've got lots of shows planned, but for now, focusing on the first one, BMBF Scottish, this Sunday coming. Let's enjoy this workout. So it is the morning, Friday morning. So after speaking to Andy yesterday, we decided to change things up. So we don't have oats, we've got Rice Krispies today. Uh, the eggs are still the same. I've got a rain. This will be, probably be the last one. I won't probably have one tomorrow just to cut out all sweeteners. Um, we've got a wheat actamel as well. Um, but pretty much from the training clips that you just seen, you can see that it was very devolumized there wasn't any drop sets back off sets um it was just kind of high rep get a pump get out type of 
type of thing just to kind of get the upper body a bit more filled out. So no intensity methods, everything was taken to about just shy of failure, um, as you just seen. But Andy was happy with how we were looking, so he made some changes. So just taking out a few things like fiber, veg, um, and that. But I will show you what I'm eating throughout the day, but it's very simple. Just went shopping, got everything I need, and we are next on to a haircut, which is something that I really need. So we'll enjoy this, and then we'll see you at the next meal. So we are back from running the errands that I was needing to do today. So got the haircut and dropped the car off to get cleaned because I do not have the energy to clean it myself. I'm saying that like I clean it myself. I never clean it myself. I put it to a valeting service. Um, so next meal is a bagel with some chicken. Usually I have salad with it, but we've cut out... Um, all the fiber and veggies obviously and we are on to our second lot of water uh, i didn't mention but we're on seven and a half liters today so smashing that in so pretty much just five of these i'm used to drinking four so one extra shouldn't be too much of an issue but yeah smash this small tiny meal get on to the next one okay meal number three 300 grams potato 100 grams of chicken it's all just mixed in put in the air fryer because air fryers are the best we're on to our third thing of water, so we're getting through it. But yeah, uh, I'm not going to show you the next two meals because they are the exact same. We're also starting the vitamin C. It's just a wee bit uh, of help to get the water through the body. Um, but yeah, this is meal number three, four, and five. So that's what we're doing. So it is Saturday morning. I have got up, I've had my Rice Krispies, I have had my eggs, and now me and Carson are just chilling, watching some fruit on the TV, and the stupid music isn't annoying at all, but he likes it as much as he doesn't look like he does. But I've just actually discovered this. I don't know if you see that. EMBF British Finalist 2018. So that is bringing back memories and getting me ready to go for the competition again today. I woke up tighter this morning. Uh, feeling really good, just happy with how I'm coming in. Like I say, going into this show with no expectations. Had a wee bit of a shave, finished off the shaving from here down. So we are completely hairless. A um, little bit of a tanner got put on last night just to give me a little bit of a base coat. It's not really done much, but it'll do. But yeah, that is us. We are good to go for traveling down later on today. Meals are the exact same but I'm gonna have to do a lot of potato prep for the weekend. So I've not filmed a lot today, but it's time to leave. Um, packed everything, prepped up seven meals of chicken and white potato. Um, I've got all my stuff ready for tomorrow. I have, it's currently 20 to four, so I've got an hour just to finish off the water for the day. I've done six liters, just got one and a half left to go which is going in super easy. Um, it's gonna be an interesting road trip as I feel like I'm gonna need to pee every 10 minutes. So we'll be stopping a lot, but getting on the road now, ready to get down to Perth. See you soon. Right, so I haven't spoken to you in a while, but the drive was very chill. We have arrived in Perth with Pavel. We are here, hey Steph and Andy have gone out to get um, some nicer food than what we are eating. But I will show you around, it's very simple, it's a nice roomy apartment. We have got my room, kitchen, optimal fanage for drying of tan. I did bring the air fryer, so I just had another meal. Uh, like I said, the meals are the exact same as yesterday. So it was, um, I've had two meals of the chicken and potatoes. Uh, I drank seven and a half liters before 5 p.m., which was the plan. So that water is done. Um, so we're just gonna let the body do its thing and piss out all the water really, and wake up hopefully tomorrow pretty dry. But got a few things to do. I need to go take a shower because we are actually tanning tonight. I'm doing one coat tonight and then we'll see what it looks like in the morning. I am notorious for like messing up my tan in the night. Um, so I'll probably need it fixed in the morning. But yeah, 
So um, I've already done a round of posing after one of my meals with the coaches. We will see them in due course, but that's pretty much it. That is the update. We're in Perth, ready to rock and roll. But yeah, that's it. It's a waiting game now. See you soon. Here it is. That's right, folks. The glamorousness. You spend the money, you get Dr. Andrew Chappelle on his knees. Can I just caveat with the question before this happened was, do you want the trunks or the sock? To which Andrew just uh, said, what did you say? The trunks. <laughs> I said, my trunks. I, said, I think I filled them out there. <laughs> I said the sock, to be fair. Um, hey guys, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> I'm ready with my six beers. Okay, I have not filmed anything today, but it's show day. We have our second coat of tan. We are walking to the venue and we were almost there for registration. It's quite a stressful process getting ready for a show. Just been up eating, not been doing too much, but we're ready, we're kind of chill. Nerves are always there, but so good. Let's get, smash it and relax. Nothing else we can do. We are checked in, numero eight. Bit of a yucky badge, but it's okay. Number eight, four in the category. That'll be fine. Not much left to do, apart from sit and wait with the feet up. That is it. Hello again. I'm not very good at this YouTube malarkey. Didn't film anything backstage or anything, but that's pre-judging done. The way this works is you do pre-judging, so you go on and do your poses in a line, um, and a lot of the judging's done then. Then we go back at night and we do uh, our posing routine, our 60 second one. And then we do another round of posing. And then finally we do our uh, pose down and awards. So that is us done for the pre-judging and we will be back on soon. I would say I'll promise to film more, but... <laughs> He took the win from Jacob. So there it is. Managed to win the Scottish junior title. Not bad for a show that I wasn't planning on doing. So I'll definitely take it. And they're a nice trophy to go along with the collection. Um, very well run show. I was really happy with the result. Um, in terms of how it looked, I think I could be sharper for the next show. So in case you don't know, I'm competing again. Um, two weeks, well, it's two weeks now because I'm filming this a couple of days later, but on the 18th of September, I'll be competing again at the UK BFBA. So I was using it as a kind of dust the cobwebs off show, but more than happy to take the win. It was a great day. I really enjoyed the overall, um, which is good. I always be standing on stage with people that are a lot more experienced than you, so you can see where you kind of are but yeah really happy with how I posed buzzing to get the win it's a good title to have in um, that Scottish title a lot of very good bodybuilders have won that junior title so I'm more than happy to be one of them and on to the next one thanks for watching the video I'm going to roll the clip from our class from the straight from the table so you can see that after and see what they said about us okay then we moved on to our junior class, so from the ladies to the men, our junior class, we had four in it, good class, with a SOG winner in Robert Brown. Yeah. He took the win from Jacob Bjorka in third, and in second, sorry, and Pavel Lavoki in three. Patsy Whelan rounded off the guys in four. Steve, not so long ago you were a junior, let's go to that one. Uh, clear win for Robert. Yeah, um, I think Robert's shape was just too overpowering for the ever, well, ever three competitors in the class today. Um, slightly better condition for the British will be needed to be competitive um, but the shape wise he is actually quite brilliant in my opinion he was really good yeah. <laughs> and um, second second and third um, yeah like the, the guy in second was just a bit thicker a bit more heavily muscled 
Um, third place, Powell had better condition, but um, just a bit slight on the muscle to take the second spot. Okay. Yes, Robert, clear winner. His physique was very classical, posed brilliantly to suit his physique. Um, he reminded me of one of my favourite juniors from the past, Andrew Chappelle. Um, looked like him, posed like him, so, you know, Andrew did very well, so I think Robert's going to do similarly. Mm -hmm. OK. And uh, just rounding up the four, we did have Pat say, just a lot of advice for him, Davey, I guess, is just to, you know, stick at it and yeah. put, put on a bit more muscle, really. Yeah, he just needs more size. Like, again, it's just starting out, um, you know, just dipping his toe in the water, eh? and he just needs to keep keep training hard and, and eating well. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got some big boots. That's a good dad bod. 